हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एंड दिस इज पोएम टेंथ द टेल ऑफ कस्टर्ड द ड्रैगन दिस पोएम इज गिवन इन फर्स्ट फ्लाइट बुक एंड दिस इज माई लेक्चर वन टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर टूडे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शेल रीड अबाउट द पोएट ऑडिन नैश देन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस पोएम and at last we shall discuss stanzas of this poem so there will be stanza wise explanation so let us begin with the introduction of the poet ordin nash about the poet the poet name is frederick ordin nash so frederick ordin nash was born in 1902 and he died in 1971 he was an american poet he was actually famous for his light verse he wrote more than 500 pieces of verse and he was known as the producer of humorous poetry he received sara joseph hale award so he received sara joseph hale award in 1964 now introduction to the poem poem is the tale of custard the dragon ordin nash has written a poem about a little girl whose name was balinda balinda who owns many pets balinda has many pets namely a black kitten named ink means ink was the name of black kitten grey mouse named blink so mouse name was blink yellow dog named mustard and a covered dragon named custard so she has four pets the poet has described every character to be brave the poet has given the description of their bravery except the dragon who is a coward and his name was custard he was considered coward but the whole situation changes when a pirate means a robber attacked belinda's house so at that time no one else had the guts to face the pirate so no no one came ahead it was only the dragon custard who killed it was the dragon custard that killed the pirate that killed the robber all the characters are happy because they are saved characters means all four pets and balinda they all were happy because they are saved by the dragon but quickly change their thoughts and describe themselves to be more powerful they said that they were powerful if the situation had the situation not been so confusing for all for all of them so they thought that they were more powerful than the dragon custard and they were very happy because they all were saved they were helped by the dragon but later on they said that they were more powerful than the dragon so this is the introduction now stanza wise explanation 
So first stanza it is Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really truly little pet dragon so this is the first stanza so belinda lived in a little white house with her pets a little black kitten a mouse a yellow dog a red wagon little pet dragon etc and these are her pets so let us read its explanation so here are some words which are underlined like first is wagon wagon means a cart and next is is really really means really truly it means truly now its explanation the poem opens with introducing the characters of this poem namely balinda who lived in a little white house with her pets and a wagon her pets include a black kitten a little grey mouse a little yellow dog and a little dragon so this is the explanation of first stanza now move to next next stanza stanza 2 it is now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog she little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was a coward and she called him custard so here in this stanza we have come to know about the name of all pets the name of the little black kitten was ink little gray mouse was blink little yellow dog was mustard and the name of the dragon was custard who was a coward now see belinda had named her little black kitten as ink and her little gray mouse was called blink then the color of her dog was as sharp and yellow as mustard and her dragon was called custard here the readers are introduced to the cowardice of custard as he was not brave and feared a lot that's why he always demanded a nice safe cage now third stanza it is custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and really or truly or daggers on his toes now see its explanation the description of custard's physical appearance seems quite surprising to the readers as it has been shown as carrying all the features of a dragon that makes dragons powerful scary and brave it has big sharp teeth and spikes on its back that could easily scare anyone it can scare anyone away custard also has the ability to spit fire which makes its mouth 
looked like a fireplace showing his power and his nose becomes the chimney through which the smoke comes out from the fire in his mouth custard's toes are so pointed and sharp that they could cut anything like a dagger means like a sharp knife custard's toes can cut anything so in this stanza the poet has given custard's physical appearance that is very scary now stanza 4 here it is given the poet has uh, actually given the description of uh, the bravery of all the characters valinda was as brave as a barrel full of bears and ink and bling chased lions down the stairs mustard was as brave as a tiger in a race but custard cried for a nice safe cage means always custard cried for a safe cage barrel means box chased means here it means ran raised means anger now see its explanation explanation is all the members of the house except custard are very brave Balinda's bravery has been compared to the bravery of many bears combined together. Balinda was uh, very brave, like a barrel full of bears. Ink and Blink were so brave that they could chase lions. So, here the poet has given the description of their bravery. Ink and Blink. despite being so small in size have the power to scare and chase away someone as strong as a lion her dog's bravery has been compared to that of a tiger's anger but custard is completely opposite to his physical description and instead of being brave always looks for a nice safe cage so here it is told that mustard was brave ink and blink were also brave mustard was as brave as a tiger in anger but custard always wanted a cage to hide himself that's why he was considered coward now stanza 5 it is fifth one Belinda tickled him she <clears throat> tickled him unmerciful ink blink and mustard they rudely called him Percival they all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the realio trulio cowardly dragon so it is given that Belinda tickled the dragon and she tickled him in an unmerciful way ink blink and mustard <coughs> called the dragon percival and they all sat together laughing in the little red wagon said so they all made fun of custard tickled it means touch or stroke lightly and unmerciful means without mercy rudely means in a rude manner they all made fun of custard now see explanation balinda used to tickle the dragon without stopping and she did it quite cruelly to make it laugh he should it should be noted here that tickling is a very soft touch on body and it is related to softness since the dragon was such a coward tickling worked on him so it doesn't <clears throat> work on rough bodies hence it is another proof of the dragon's softness 
it was named as percival by <coughs> ink blink and mustard seeing the dragon react to the tickling made all of them laugh and they laughed sitting in the wagon at the cowardly dragon they all made fun of custard the dragon because he always cried for nice safe cage now stanza 6 in uh, previous stanza we read that they all called him percival means uh, percival is actually a name of a funny character from a tale now see sixth one valinda giggled means laughed till she shook the house and blink sad weak which is giggling for a mouse means which is a sound of uh, laughing for a mouse ink and mustard rudely asked his age they asked custard's age when custard cried for a nice safe cage now see explanation belinda laughed a lot at the dragon and she laughed so hard that it seemed that the house is shaking due to her laughter blink the mouse used to say weak which is actually the giggling sound for mouse so belinda giggled very loudly till the entire house shook its foundation blink also giggled like a mouse ink and mustard asked the age of custard and made his mockery means made fun of him so ink and mustard asked dragon's age to make fun of him as it shows that the dragon behaved like a small kid would do but he was not a small kid custard just wanted a nice safe cage for himself so this is the explanation of sixth stanza now let us move ahead now seventh stanza suddenly suddenly they heard a nasty sound means a very bad sound and mustard growled mustard made a sound and they all looked around meow cried ink and who cried belinda for there was a pirate climbing in the window pirate means a robber window is used here for window so suddenly they heard a very bad sound and uh, then they saw that there was a robber and the robber climbed through the window now see its explanation while all of them were busy making fun of the dragon means ink blink master they all were making fun of the dragon there came a very unpleasant sound from the house master of the dog looked around for the source of that sound he tried to find out the source of that sound ink cried meow and belinda also cried oh when they saw that there was a pirate there was a robber and he was climbing the window of the house to loot it so they all got scared so now homework in homework you have to read the poem thoroughly today in first lecture we have completed seven stanzas so read all the stanzas with their explanation and find out the answers of first three textual questions these questions are first who are the characters in this poem list them with their pet names these questions are given in uh, your first flight book 
who the next question it is why did custard cry for a nice safe case and why is the dragon called a cowardly dragon third is balinda tickled him she tickled him unmerciful why so these three questions are there in uh, your textual book so you are supposed to find out the answers of these three questions i hope you have understood these seven standards thank you